that's not to say that it can impact markets in the short term and uh, it can become bullish. So anyway, so let's just watch this and uh, let's see what's happening. You can see that things are moving into very bullish. Nvidia obviously is moved into very bullish and we have uh, okay alphabet just jumped big time okay alphabet jumped big time and so i just want to make sure that there's no fake out over there if boeing takes uh, if, if boeing pulls back a little bit uh, that could be a trade yeah right now it's doing that yeah 411 and 411 412 so 412.5 is a 49 delta i wouldn't want to go there why spend, uh, you know, that's too risky there. And plus it's uh, it's at the money. So you don't want to pay too much extrinsic value. So here we are, 415 call expiring today. Yeah, expiring today. So if uh, somebody did not want to take this, you can go into the next week also. Uh, but um, I'm just making a small trade. So this would be what, about 80 cents. So it's a $400 trade. So uh, it's, not very, uh, it's not very risky. So I'm just going to take it. And let's see what uh, Boeing does. Should get a better price. Yeah, 75. We got it. Okay. All right. So we are in on Boeing. Let's just watch that. Okay. Here it got pushed down. So this is my chance to double down here. Buy 5. 85. Okay. I'll go for it. Okay. 83. Got in. That was the best chance I, I could get for doubling down. Uh, I wouldn't mind cost averaging a little bit more just because the numbers are really small. So buy five at 58, that, that would be just adding about $290 to the trade and uh, could give us a better, better chance at uh, recovering this. Okay, 58, we are in. So now the trade price is 72. Breadth is still sort of split between very bullish and very bearish, and that's a little surprising given that the futures, I mean, uh, the uh, the market is up, uh, the S&P is up quite nicely. So I would, uh, but the breadth is not uh, supporting that. So you can already see the effects of time decay come in. I think previously when it was at four, uh, what is it? Boeing is at four thirteen point five. And previously, when it was at that level, uh, we had a positive PNL, but right now it's negative 60. So you can see that time decay is already starting to come off these options. And so that just tells you you have to be more careful uh, with this because uh, you know, next push up, I think we should just get out um, if we can. I'm just hoping it can go to 414. In that case, we should have a decent uh, 20, 25% if it can go up to 414. If you see this, we got executed at 1.05. Of course, now it's gone up much more. It's gone up to 1.3 and 1.4. But uh, regardless, this was the uh, uh, you know the approximate price that we, are, we were expecting to get filled at, and uh, I guess it got filled. So anyway, just a quick uh, follow up on that. Okay, all right, folks, have a great weekend. I'll put it back on Market Watch. So if you want a free trial of this day trading signal service, you can go to this Bitly link. It's Bitly uh, slash day hyphen signals now the day and the uh, the d and the s has to be capitals and once you go there you can get a free trial you can, you'll need to sign up there and you'll get a free trial and uh, at the end of one week if you don't want to continue you can just send us an email at info at option tiger.com and we'll give you a full refund so once again the bitly link is bitly slash day hyphen signals with the d and s in caps thank you